What's going on, everyone? Andy Singer here with the Climate Realism video series and bringing back Linnea Lucan. I mean, Leanne Lucan. How are you, Leanne? Uh, you don't have to start that. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are wondering, uh, Linnea's wrong kept getting pronounced wrong on a different video, and it was kind of funny, so it's a joke now. Linnea's uh, wrong kept getting pronounced wrong? What? You said Linnea's wrong kept getting pronounced wrong. I uh, am a linguistic expert. Moving on. See, see, that's how you turned it off. You just turned it oh, back on me. I try to make fun of you, then I can't even get words out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we uh, we were watching a video earlier today, and it was a Greta video. Now, this video is a bit old, but um, Greta is not as big as she used to be, so she's not really getting the circulation that she once was. Yeah, and uh, I wonder why. Should I cue the speech? I think you should. I should cue the speech. There is no planet B. There is no planet blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Very, eloquent. very important. Yeah, very eloquent. This is not about yeah. some expensive, politically correct, green act of bunny hugging or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Build back better. Blah, blah, blah. Green economy. Blah, blah, blah. I couldn't agree more. I know. Net zero That's by 25. 2050. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Net zero by 2050. Blah, blah, blah. Net zero. Blah, blah, blah. Climate. It's like she's agreeing with us for once, but for all the wrong reasons. We're like, yeah, blah, blah, blah to net zero in 2050, because that's an absolutely insane thing to shoot for. You've heard it. You've heard it from the Heartland Institute. Late, but first. <laughs> Late. Greta, Greta is based. Is based. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Wait, I, she's got a few more blahs coming up. I can't miss them. Each, each, I find that each blah is a little, a little hits harder than the last. By the time she's done, it's almost one fiftieth of how good the "How dare you" speech was. <laughs> yeah, she's close. Climate neutral, blah blah blah. This is all we hear from our so-called leaders. Words, words that sound great, but so far has led to no action. Okay, so wait, I have, we we both watched the How Dare You speech before this, and uh, I'll, I'll throw it up in a second, but it, did you notice how happy she looks in this blah, blah, blah speech? She's having she's, fun. She's, she's having, having a lot fun more up fun. there. It's yeah. like a 180 from her previous well, that's, speech. That's the point. So wait, let's let's get the How Dare You speech and like pay attention to, I'm not saying to you, Lene, I do you know you got, but like viewers, pay attention to just how, uh, broken she seems like she actually thinks this is a huge issue let's see share a screen how dare you to be honest i would probably be as excited as she is if i was making the kind of money she probably is yeah for right oh, running for around sure. giving speeches getting yeah. to go on a super sailing yacht across the atlantic that's yeah. like dream status i I'll can't you, believe it, that she got to do that it's not blah 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 money it's actually money no, it's, it's real it's money not blah 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 money <laughs> all right wait so so check out just how sad she looks I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. It's a lot people are better suffering. speech. People oh my, are yeah, dying. I... I don't like Greta. I don't think that's some big mystery. I love that speech. It just it actually sticks with you. The how dare you? Oh yeah, like, it's so really impactful, good. and and she does such a good job delivering it, and she's yeah. legitimately tearing up in it. Yeah, and it makes you feel bad for her. You're like, oh man, someone yeah. has stolen her dreams. It's her parents that did yeah. it, but you know, yeah, you feel right. bad. I can't believe that she like, so her, her mom, I think is like a famous opera singer. It might be her dad. I can't remember which one, but you know, that requires traveling around the world. And Greta like approached her family and was like, we're no longer allowed to fly. I have a feeling they're flying by now. Yeah. But, well, and I think her parents are activists too. Yeah. But they, I do know that one of them had to give up their like really good opera career for, uh, you know, Greta. So Greta could, Shame people. 
and again, I we've we I know you know this, I know this, but it the the whole like uh taking the speed yacht or the speed sailboat or whatever across the Atlantic, that uh required more flights to set up than it would have just taken for Greta to fly there and fly back. Oh, to definitely. Fly grew around and stuff. Like it took more flights. Just oh, and her staff and and even that, you know, it's a green boat because it's a sailboat or whatever. But yeah. it has, I guarantee it's got thrusters. You can't you can't put a dock a boat like that into the slip or into docks without having <laughs> thrusters on there. So there's an engine on there. You're talking somewhere. about like the side thrusters? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And yeah. because it's a super yacht, right? Like it was yeah, a I huge mean, boat. Florida, yeah. It's nice as like as can be oh. it's nice as hell. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like fiberglass doesn't come carbon neutral. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a feeling you're right about that one. Um, and then I for should we let's show the the Greta singing and dancing thing. Oh yeah, this is, yep. this is the only time Greta's ever made me smile. I gotta I gotta not spoil it, but I want to start singing right now. <laughs> You can shove your climate crisis up your uh, arse. But... You can shove your climate crisis up your arse. You can shove your climate crisis. You can shove your climate crisis. You can shove your climate crisis up your arse. Yeah, that, maybe that's why she's so happy. She's not yeah. really worried about the climate crisis. That's big smiles right there. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Is there any any overarching point you want to make about like? So just uh, when we actually brought this up, I said she's not really as big as before. So the blah, blah, blah speech I pulled up has 132,000 views. The um, let's see how much the how dare you speech has. I have a feeling it's more uh, 7.4 million views. So it's like once yeah, just not even close. Uh, so oh, yeah. like 70 times more views, essentially, than the blah, blah, blah speech. So that's unsurprising. Kinda, it's yeah, not like, great. Yeah. I think the most places that I've seen, even just clips of the blah 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 meme, is yeah. in memes and yeah. uh and on conservative shows making fun of how bad oh. it was. Um in the future, you see those memes, like save them and we can we can show them on screen during this and just you know laugh. Oh yeah, that could that's a good idea. Fun. Okay, I'm gonna but, make a folder on my computer. Yeah, make a folder. We could do the the the, the meme like <laughs> reaction video of the week or something. Meme review. Yeah, sorry. This is <laughs> this is the creative process view. Yeah, you got it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't really have too much more to say about it outside of the fact that we're a little late on this video, but no one really saw it because it was a, just a bunch of blah. So we hope you enjoyed it now. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say before we, we sign off? Um, nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> no, I, uh, it's, it's just, wow. It's yeah. really, really good. Um, it would be nice to see if she's kind of winding down on this stuff and able to concentrate on her education, yeah. which she clearly needs. Yeah. Although probably not at the kind of schools that she's going to go to. That's They're probably what not going to make it better. But <laughs> um, the most prominent school in climate change is going to kill us in the world. Oh, gosh. That's she'll be. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she like never gets her education and yet still becomes like a professor. Like we're going to all die of climate change. And if you don't if you keep blah, blah, blah your way through life, the first well, professor that will just actually, say blah all the time. I do, I do have one thing to add. Yes. And that is that we should be profoundly grateful that she is 100% correct. That <laughs> it, with a lot of our world leaders, yeah. it is just words. Yep. They do That's not believe the things that they are saying. They are yep. only using it to get to regular people because fear is the best way that they can use to control people. Yeah. No, so actually, they, they create it with fear. And then they hype it up twice a year when the seasons change. They have a big, <laughs> they have a it's big issue. It's going outside. You know, the, <laughs> yeah. You get, you know, some kind of a big winter storm or a hurricane or something. And they yeah. hype it up again for a bit. And then everyone forgets about it. We have people like John Kerry, who is our climate czar, which is a weird word to use for yeah. it. But all right. right. <laughs> uh, 
And I guarantee that he hasn't stopped flying private jets. I guarantee no. that he's still going to parties on yachts and all that oh, yeah. good fun stuff. Um, so the idea that you can take any of these people seriously is completely bogus. And and Greta has it right on the right. nose that it is blah 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 from yeah. Them. Well, uh, John Kerry and Joe Joe Biden both went on stage and said like even if we perfectly accomplish the go goals of the Paris Climate Accord, uh, it'll still do nothing. Like they went on stage and told, which is true. Like even if we hit every goal those things called for, it's like such a modest reduction in temperature that it's like, why are we going to destroy a global economy to essentially accomplish nothing? And they went on stage and said this, but their point was like, we need to do more. And my point's yeah. like, if this much gets nothing done, can we maybe think about adaption instead of, you know, the, uh, like we, we adapt to the climate. The climate is not, humanity's friend it's like since early times building structure to live in was one of the most important things you do to protect yourself from from the elements from the climate like uh now it's like no we don't need to adapt anymore like we need to stop it it's it, it makes no sense but uh, you're absolutely right with greta being right about how um world leaders will say a bunch of things but not act thank you world leaders oh that would be a problem we need to pay more taxes so we can change the weather. Yeah, that's what I've been saying for <laughs> years. Uh, wait, it, can I be the tax man? <laughs> yeah. then exactly. I change my mind. <laughs> I'd rather be John Kerry in this scenario. Yeah. I Everyone else video. can keep paying taxes. I'm uh, going to keep my <laughs> private jet. Yeah, right. I did a video on Kerry in the past. Like he, um, he regularly takes the helicopter. He took like a helicopter trip to Antarctica just because he wanted to go to her. Like, he uh, flies uh, private planes excessively. I can't remember the details. I made this video a while ago. But uh, yeah, John Kerry is no friend of the environment, even though I don't really think his flying is a huge problem in John Kerry's no. views. Well, and no it, that's exactly the point, right? Hypocr like we don't, I don't actually care yeah. that he's burning fossil fuels flying around on private jets. I'm not worried yeah. about it. What I don't like is the hypocrisy. Or yeah. rather, I, I actually heard a pretty good um, counter to that, which I think is probably true. And that's that it's not hypocrisy when it's hierarchy. Yeah. They really think that it's they are perfectly entitled to continue living the, the high carbon footprint lifestyle because yeah. they are the ones that promote the low carbon lifestyle. Yeah. So it's okay for them to do it because they're the ones in charge, but it's not okay for you and me to do it because we're plebs. We're I, <laughs> just I the little love lower that thing. Run. It's yeah. not hypocrisy. If it's, did, did you make that up? I paraphrased from someone else. I don't remember that, where I got that it. made it up essentially because everyone's paraphrasing something else. Yeah. But uh, okay, I'm going to remember that one, steal it, and then claim I made it up. But... <laughs> uh yeah so no i i totally agree with you on pretty much everything it's good we have world leaders that don't actually care instead of world leaders that do which is why greta if she's ever a world leader we're actually in problem like in trouble <laughs> yeah uh, we'll see but i kind of have a feeling that that yacht and uh first class flights and first class train rides kind yeah. of lifestyle is gonna temper some of that enthusiasm right uh plus i mean if she ever was like a leader she would have to fly around or else it would be like oh okay we have this war talk i'll be there in a month <laughs> like we're gonna die within a month <laughs> um, yeah yeah uh so i i got nothing else to add on this one um just one last how dare you because that's really fun to say uh outside of that i guess um we'll we'll be signing off folks Alrighty. Thanks Wasn't for having me on again. Yeah, for sure. Wasn't that such a smooth exit? I would end it right now, but I want to comment about how smooth my exit was, despite the fact that it was not pretty. smooth at all. It was pretty poor. <laughs> it was smooth enough. It was, it was good. smooth enough. The, the, the commenting on it is attempting to smooth it out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Later, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one. Thank you.